Okay, time for our burn. Let's go ahead and turn that off. SAS on and just burn this thing. That's pretty doggone close. 604 kilometer encounter at intersect 1. Intersect 2 is about 5 or 6 minutes later with a 462 kilometer encounter. So as we get closer we're going to be able to refine this a whole lot better. And since we don't have much else going on, let's just time warp closer and see about improving this encounter. Ah, uh, it's time for the Duna launch. Okay. Let's see. Let's set some kind of an alarm for this thing. Target distance. Let's give it a... Uh, Yeah, well, we're a hundred thousand kilometers out. That gives us plenty of time. And now, no jump to ship on here. How about that? All right. I'm going to go through the. Uh, tracking station and get on to the Duna ship and we will get that one launched. Alright, here we are. The Duna probe. Let's flip out here and get our target set. Already got a close approach. That's great. Let's fine tune this a little bit. Four, 486, 629 is getting farther apart. There's our encounter. Let's see if we can bring the Duna Periapsis down a bit lower. Thirty thousand, forty-four thousand. That's going the wrong way. Okay, I guess we just take this one for right now and refine closest approach when we're closer. Okay, twenty minutes until a thousand meter per second burn. Three minute warning and we'll do a test burn then. Get lined up and get down to burn time. Alright, it is time to send this thing on its way to Duna. First up, we'll give it a test burn to get an estimated burn time. One minute thirty five seconds. So about 47 seconds would do the burn. Accelerate time a little bit down there. Okay, now 
just about to time. And this one is on its way to Duna. And another burn is almost completed. fine-tuning there. Well, I don't think we can ask for better than that. Let's have a look. Close approach is close but not dead on. So let's see if we can do a little bit of fine-tuning there with... Okay, let's just engage thrusters and reverse thrust. Bring that closest approach down until it turns into an encounter. I believe it has to be less than about 45,000 to be an encounter with Duna. We'll see. Okay, we have a Duna encounter. I'm going to burn the periapsis down a little bit while I have the opportunity to do so. At least until it starts going back up. It's doing it from here. All it's costing is a little bit of monopropellant. starting to go back up there, so we'll turn our CS off. Okay, very good. Let's set an alarm for... Oh, wait a minute. Let's fly this thing out of the Kerbal Sphere of Influence. Kerbin Sphere of Influence. And then set an alarm for the Duna Encounter. So the next thing we'll be needing to deal with is the Sun Diver. Because it will be nearing periapsis. A very hot and steamy periapsis. Very crispy periapsis at the Sun. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to take care of that now. We can come back to the Duna ship and set its alarm later. Oh, I deleted it. Doggone it. Okay. Let's see if I can find it and switch to it. Switching to Sundiver 1. closed and here's the sun. Current altitude is six something or other six thousand kilometers. And we are descending. Let's go ahead and have this thing turn it retrograde. No, turn it prograde. Yeah. Alright now we've got some science we can do here. Let's go ahead and do the repeatable stuff. Temperature, transmit. And let's see. One materials bay. We're in space near the sun. Great. If we could return that, it would be 275 science. That would be awesome. But. Go ahead, transmit. And let's do some of the goo containers.
picking this science up from near the sun, low in space near the sun, and uh, well, in space near the sun, we should be able to get something high over the sun after periapsis, which is when we'll use the other four goo containers and the second materials bay. Okay, now the temperature data again. Oh, well, we're not going to get any science from it. We would if we could recover it, but I doubt that recovery is going to happen with this one. Although, I suppose if we can catch up with an asteroid, we might be able to catch up with and grab this. I don't know. Depends on how things work out. I might try it. Okay. And now it's time for a bit of video time acceleration as we approach Sun Periapsis, which currently is standing at 2.029 kilometers. <laughs> Sun Periapsis, which is now standing at 1.579 kilometers. Let's see. If I engage RCS, it doesn't start up and start burning. That's good. All right. And I'm going to expend the remaining RCS fuel as we reach per Periapsis. And given how much is there, I'm going to go ahead and start burning now. And we are achieving some kind of a record here. I know it's personal record. Closest approach to the sun, 1.556 kilometers. Not bad. We are now accelerating out away from periapsis at better than 90 kilometers per second. I gotta tell you, that's fast. And let's see, what is this doing to... It's sending this thing way out there. Good. If I burn up all of the RCS fuel here, good old Olberth effect, it ought to be really impressive this close to the sun. My only comment about the sun is that I really wish that it had occasional random sunspots 
just so that the surface had some kind of detail. Granted, not all suns have sunspots, but it would be nice if this one did. Besides, that way later in development you could get into like solar flares and stuff like that. Of course, that probably could happen anyway. This thing might even get out to the orbit of Duna. Okay, some more video acceleration while I burn out the remaining RCS fuel. RCS fuel is exhausted and this thing is now coasting and its apoapsis is past the orbit of Duna which might just make it possible to recover it asteroid style with a grabber ship we'll find out let's see where's our next alarm we've got 34 days for the arm maneuver so I'm going to accelerate time a little bit and we're going to get some science from high in space over the sun and I think I might just not transmit that and attempt to capture this thing oh can't time warp below such and such yeah physics time warp I'll be back when this thing is far enough out to get high in space over the sun. Pausing briefly on my climb out from the sun to note that my comment about sunspots was apparently unnecessary because I see sunspots. So how about that? The Kerbin sun does have sunspots. Interesting. Now that we're far enough out, we could actually time warp faster. I want to get to a point where I'm high in space over the sun, trigger the remaining science instruments, and then get about the business of uh, getting on to the next thing to do. So it's going to be an apoapsis in 47 days. And the arm mission is the next maneuver there is in 34 days. All right, let's see if we're high in space over the sun yet. In space near. In space near. Given how big the sun is, high in space is probably going to be pretty doggone high. Okay, can't be do can't do pressure and temperature scan. There is no crew on this thing. All right, let's just check that. It's high over the sun. Okay, so we'll keep that data and we'll trigger all four of these keeping the data and we're going to try to recover this thing okay and the material bay there's a boatload of science here if we can recover this thing that's going to be fantastic. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put an alarm on this for apoapsis. Just 
just to remind us of its presence. And next up will be time warping to the next maneuver for the Arm 1. Okay, here we are back at the Arm 1. Time warping ahead to reach the alarm setting. Once we get to the target distance, it should put the brakes on. Nearing target distance. It didn't say what the time alarm or time. Alright, whatever. Just going to eyeball it here. close to our approach. Whoa. Alright. I'd say, yeah. Okay, the alarm's getting ready to go off. Okay, we're good. Let's time warp a little bit more. thing should be getting ready to enter the curb and sphere of influence and I'm gonna go ahead and kill this alarm because we're getting close enough it as it is here all right let's see our flight information here flight stats bring that up we're probably gonna need it closest approach distance is 400 kilometers Right now it's 605 kilometers out. Distance to target 500, closing, closing. Okay, we're approaching our closest approach distance. So I'm going to Let's cut out to this view. And let's go target relative velocity negative. Give the ship time to get into position so that when we reach the 404 kilometers closest approach, we can start some braking so that we don't go flying past it and then from here it ought to be just pretty much a uh, basic docking maneuver basically did I say basic enough times? <laughs> okay time warp a little bit more here Now let's start canceling out our velocity relative to the asteroid. And this fuel tank is going to run dry in the process, I'll bet. Yeah, definitely. That's fine. We still have another Jumbo 64. Okay. Now we kill the rest of our target velocity. And then we commence to approaching that target. Getting down there pretty quickly. at 
404 kilometers closest approach. Start easing off the throttle. Cut right there. All right, target positive. And reorient to move towards our target now. Although I do want to make it a point to try to approach this thing from behind after it passes. But we can arrange that as we get closer to it to where we can actually see it. Right now, all we know is that it's out here somewhere, but it's too far away to be actually seen. So let's begin approaching. Closest approach distance is now 10 kilometers. We'll go back to relative negative. Really? This is just a docking maneuver now. Albeit we're docking with an office building pretty much Get this thing flipped around how's our fuel plenty I'm hoping we have enough to actually uh, get this slowed down into a curving orbit and whether or not we do is yet to be seen but we should be able to affect it some Relative inclination is now 0 0.22 degrees, so we're doing better there. Okay, time warping in to about 11 kilometers distant. Approaching a hundred. There it is. Nineteen kilometers out. Let's time warp a bit more. Get our distance to target down to about twelve kilometers and start braking. <laughs> 